polymerase chain reaction. DNA is a long double strand of sugars, phosphorus and nitrogenous bases that process all the information of an organism. It is written in a cryptic code called genetic code. Massive studies on DNA sequencing allow the understanding of biology from viruses or bacteria to more developed animals. However, sometimes we want to find a specific sequence, so how can we do it fast? In 1983, Karim Maldis came in our help. He managed to amplify the number of copies of a specific strand of DNA, allowing eventually to detect its presence. This technique is polymerase chain reaction. Let's see how it works. In the reaction container, we will need some important reagents. First of all, the template, which is the DNA of the sample. Then we will need nucleotides, the building blocks needed for DNA synthesis. The new segments of DNA are made by TAC polymerase, an enzyme that replicates DNA starting from primers. Primers are short strands of DNA that pair with the target sequence on the template. TAC polymerase recognizes them and copies the desired sequence. To get this molecular engine to work, temperature is vital, and a machine called thermocycler is needed. In the first step, the thermocycler increases temperature up to 90 degrees Celsius in order to open the double helix, creating the so-called single-strand DNA. Afterwards, the machine cools the reaction down to 55 degrees in order to favor the primers to pair up by complementarity. Then, temperature rises again to 70 degrees Celsius in order to stimulate the polymerase to scan and copy the segment, incorporating one nucleotide at a time. The thermocycler heats and cools the reaction down for many cycles, alternating these three steps called denaturation, annealing and elongation. After each cycle, the quantity of our specific segment is doubled, so after about 35 cycles we would have 2 at the power of 35 strands, which is equal to 34 billion strands. This is how something as small as a DNA fragment is finally made detectable. PCR is used worldwide to unravel all sorts of issues. DNA tests are routinely done to prove someone guilty of a crime and they are considered some of the most reliable kinds of evidence. PCR is also fundamental in diagnostic. Recently, it has been widely used to detect COVID-19 during the pandemic. Moreover, PCR contributes to make scientific discoveries in every branch of biology, from microbiology to cancer research. I am Martina, R&D intern at Metagras PA. I'm a biotechnology graduate and in my free time I love making music, camping and drawing. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.